Welcome to Bearded Breakers. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for your patience. My name is Fat Fingered Himes, and I'm joined along with... This is Joe. And tonight we're breaking 2019 Panini Gone Rust Baseball Half Case for you guys, because it's so fun. It is. So, so fun. Already have the Heritage ready to ship and go and get out to you guys. Now it's time for some Don Russ. Um, as always, our Twitch panels are there. Make sure you go to our social media pages, at Barrier Breakers, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Um, our eBay page, at Fear of Breakers 5371. Uh, make sure you subscribe to us so you know when all the breaks are coming out. Joe, are you ready to butcher some names? And I will do so in alphabetical city or... Oh my gosh, oh, excuse me. You want to learn I had some... What is it? A vinegar and oh, salt? Dude, Popcorn? Disgusting. I do not recommend. I'm a salt and vinegar kind of guy, but... Did not agree with me. Um, so anyways, yes, we are going to... Run through everybody's eBay username in alphabetical city order for this break. So if I cannot pronounce it, I will spell it out. Diamondbacks, Motor, Doll, but the O is a zero. Yep. Braves, member 2196. Red Sox, member 2196. Cubs, 8, P-L-I-N-S-K-0. Um, White Sox, Motor, Doll with a zero. Reds, J Hump 4114. Indians, Lang 31. Rockies, MJ Blanchard. Uh, Tigers, Motor Doll with a zero. Astros, Fawn Lake Road. Royals, Redo AK Sales. Angels, NIC 7134. Dodgers, member 23, or no, I'm sorry, 2196. Marlins, Motor Doll with a zero. Brewers, member 2196. Twins, DA. Body. Mets, Zombie 8. Yankees, member 2196. Athletics, Jack Bidding. Phillies, Nestor 9555. Pirates, the FRS. Padres, Jack Bidding. Giants, Mod Price. Um, Mariners, MTG Cards and Comics, Cardinals, Cottage 159, Rays, NIC-7134, Rangers, E. Beck Told, Blue Jays, Christy Jordan 117, and last but not least, Nationals going to Will 21, oh no, I'm sorry, 2445. Thank you, everybody. A lot of recognizable names in there for tonight's break. We appreciate you returning. And for those of you that are new uh, with us for the first time, thank you for coming by. We hope you enjoy it. Is that everything you would wish for? Yes, you? exactly. So let's get started. Himes has one of eight boxes of Panini Don Ross baseball. Just ripped the seal. Awesome product. Has a total of how many hits, Heinz, per box? Uh, three. Three, but I do believe we had some good luck last break where we had more than three in a handful of boxes. So not promised or guaranteed, but obviously something to look forward to as Panini does do a good job um, regarding that. Um, but for those of you that are unfamiliar with how we break uh, products beyond 500 cards, we will rip through all the packs in a box, and then we will go through the stack. We will um, definitely showcase all the hits, the relics, and the autos. And if you see something that we don't, um, in terms of something short prints or something that's not common, let us know. We'll take another look at it, and we'll go from there. But otherwise, sit back, enjoy your favorite beverage on a St. Patrick's Sunday night. And don't stain your teeth if you're drinking anything green. That's what I'm my guessing, mom always told me. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing that's where Valkyrie is. She's not yeah, Valkyrie right. is not here with us. ATKI and his wife are probably out. Larissa. Getting blocked. <laughs> You know whose name I haven't heard of in a while? Walleye Whacker. Walleye Whacker. Or Big Marsh. Or there was another Big Marsh or something that was... Yeah. 
eBay names are always interesting. Yeah, definitely interesting. Who's the other one? Uh, Chef. Chef's not here tonight. Oh yeah, CI Chef. CIA Chef. Apparently, you have to be a pretty big drinker to be. <laughs> JTEL would like for you to say all the short prints. Himes will do so to his best ability. We're going to change how we break everything. <laughs> the wax is opening fairly easy. No problem uh, ripping the panini, panini wax. A lot of dud cards in this product. There are, um, I don't know how many per box, but definitely a handful. They use some filler cards to uh, disguise the hits, I guess. Right? Panini does at least number everything, so you know. Right. Yeah, Panini does do a really good job in terms of, they don't think they even use codes, like code numbers on the back. I'm not sure. I don't think they do. No. They just serialize them. Yeah, so it's a lot easier to recognize, especially the numbers on the front too. in comparison to something like Heritage. The only difference with these are like, there's a lot of cards that look different that aren't short prints. That makes no sense. All right, let's get started. Good luck to everybody. It's all different directions. Brandon Crawford. I'm pretty sure we'll see a few Diamond Kings. <laughs> Nicholas Castellanos. There you go. First hit is for the Detroit Tigers. 16-99. A nice-looking gray relic for Motor Doll with a zero. Congratulations on our first hit of the Donruss case break number two. Mookie Betts, followed by oh. Taylor Trammell. Nice. Whoa, we're Cincinnati Reds. The Reds getting our second hit. Uh, going to J-Hump, 4-1-1-4. Congrats. Uh, Alex Brigman, Houston. That's a little red. Reflector, uh, Javier Baez. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think the Reds are numbered. Yeah, 149 out of 92. Nice little refractor that is 145 out of 145. Cody Bollinger. Cody B. Uh, Trevor Story and a Rizzo. American Pride. So, if I'm not mistaken, what we did last time with all the American Pride cards, because they're technically collegiate players, um, I think we just randomized them all off. One but, through 30. Yeah. So, everybody has a shot at those. You'll get all of those. Hunter Renfro, San Diego. Nice refractor, front normal. <laughs> Those are unique cards. Refractor on the back. 89 out of 99. I like it, though. <laughs> I know. It's weird. Another American Pride. That one's out of 249. Stomach's oh, gurgling. Stomach's Sterling Marte, followed by Kevin Kramer. 49. 41 out of 49. That's the, that's the blue ribbon. It's the men. The prostate cancer one. Okay. There it is. All right. I'm not disputing. Something like it. Uh, Eugenio Ceres. Diamond Kings. Another one with the stars and stripes. Except the stars and stripes aren't numbered, right? No. Is that what you said? The 42s are the Jackie Robinson. Matt Carpenter. They look pretty much the same, just with the 42 instead of stars. And the black border. Signatures. Ooh. Wow. Luis Yunus. Urias? Yeah, I don't know. That looks like a U on there. Like UN. Either way. 
Who's it for? The Padres? Padres. Padres drawing first blood on the ink. Congratulations to Jack Bidding on a great rookie auto. Lewis Urias. Uh, Whit Merrifield. Uh, Javier Baez, Diamond King. Frankie Lindorf. This one reminds me of like a Christmas tree, I feel like. Like an ornament? Yeah, it's out of 999. 992 out of 999. 992. 999. Ozzy Alves. It's out of 100. 87 out of 100. Some would say best second base player in the uh, JT Ramuto, Diamond Kings. NL, I should say. Another hit. Ooh, that's our fourth in the Alex box. Alex Brigman. Is that got any stitches in there? No, but it does look like, and you can see the patch is kind of like off it's like center. shifted? Yeah. Is there a white behind it, or is that just like the actual card? I think that's just like a number for sure. Interesting. Houston getting an interesting. Relic that goes to Fawn Lake Road. Congrats. It looks, it looks red instead of orange. Very weird. But nonetheless, it's an extra hit, it's an extra hit. Can't not be mad by that. It, it's like a thick relic, like very yeah. like a I don't know. Uh, Aaron Nola, Diamond Kings. Uh, Jake DeGrom. Nice little 398, Luke Voigt. Luke! Max Scherzer, Diamond Kings. Followed by Jacob DeGrom, Franchise Stars, out of 349. Christian Yelich, out of 349. That's it for pack number one. Pack, huh? Uh, box number one. It's a big wax pack right there. All right. Four hits in the first box. Can't complain about that. And what do they say? They advertise it as three autographs or relics. relics. So we got a bonus on that one. All right. I think that's how it popped off. The first three last week. I can't we pulled them. that, um, that like trainer. <laughs> We we got to I mean at least that part of it's fun. We um we got to randomize an autograph last weekend and Panini did put a trainer or I don't even know exactly what his MLB involvement really is, but uh nonetheless it was an autograph to to randomize. I mean, it was a cool card. It was just, it was weird. It reminded me of like somebody you would have seen on. Uh, I saw Panini even did like a Instagram video on him, just like saying his name or something. He yeah, was, he was autographing if you something. got that, you'd have no idea who the hell he is. Yeah, he, he was autographing something. Like, look how fast I can autograph, and he like did it like super fast, and then they showed like a close up of it. It's like got like like all these cartoons drawn around his autograph and stuff, like as if he's an amazing artist or autographer. He reminds me of a guy who should be on the, uh, what was that HBO show, Kenny Powers. Nah. Like he should be like a coach from Kenny Powers. Is Game of Thrones going to be on Sundays? Yeah. Hmm. Did you see they released all the times of the shows? None of them are like two hours, like they were saying. I think the longest the one last like The last three or four are like 90 minutes. Yeah, but they were saying, like, oh, all these are going to be, like, mini movies. Yeah, I'm just like, uh, I mean, movies are 90 minutes, though. Yeah, but, they, like, I heard, like, oh, they're going to be, like, two hours. I don't know. I'll be impressed. Uh, Although. There's going to be tears of joy. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Trying. They're already working the spinoff series. I already had a hard time processing when the dragon got killed. Not a sp spoiler alert. <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin that for anybody that's paying attention, but Game of Thrones is 
a unique show. Well, some of us love it, and quote unquote, some of us. Are when does Game of Thrones start? I think it starts the first April week 14th. of or second week of April. April 14th. Yeah, so we're so we're approaching it. It's coming up, and we're gonna have to probably change our schedule to break. We can't be breaking. I mean, there's only what eight episodes. We gotta make sure we miss the, miss those times. I also forgot. I'll be in San Diego for the third episode. Because I just gave you uh, the break schedule for April too, and I didn't even take that into consideration. Oh boy. Are you a mix stepper? Oh yeah. Take up the ground, Brandon Bell. Maybe I do something. Max Scherzer. Julio, Pablo, Martinez for the Rangers. The Rangers getting a hit there. Going to E back told. Congrats on your jumbo relic. Drink some Crowfar. <laughs> back to back again. Eric, or Ian, Ian. Come on. Desmond. Ian Desmond. Gosh. Not like he's been in the league for 10 years. I don't know why I can't say that. Jeez. For the Texas Rangers. Again. He's on the Rangers now? No, but remember, these are the throwback to their old team. Oh, teams. okay, okay. Rangers, back-to-back -back hits right there for you. Nice little Justin Verlander. Nine, nine, nine. And on a 150, yeah, Makata. So for you guys who haven't seen this product before... Uh, the ones with the black borders are players on their old teams, essentially. Besides, like, the Diamond Kings, those ones aren't. But, like, for instance, Patrick Corbin, is he still on Arizona? Is that a bad one to do? <laughs> it's probably a bad example. Uh, Tanny, Trevor Oaks, but most of them are. I forgot the ones we got. Kevin uh, Kramer, Kramer. Yeah, wasn't he on the race before? I think so. Pittsburgh, rookie, so that's, no, that's a rookie card. I don't know. I'm confused now. Yeah, no. You got me all flipped upside down. Mike Trout, 99, 75 out of 99. Oh, that 70, looks sweet. 73 out of 99. That's a nice looking card. What's it called on top right? Action All-Stars. I like that. Great looking card for the Angels. But I'm a Trout guy, so <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, Matt Chapman. Luis Ortiz. Mitch Hanniger, Max Scherzer, out of 300. We got a card like that last week of um, Goldschmidt. It was numbered out of five. Yeah, Paul Goldschmidt. Acuna. That's a 999. I think the Black Borders are the rookie cards, if I'm not mistaken. 82 out of 99. You remember there was ones last week, Black Borders, where like everyone we got. Chance Adams. It's a rookie. What was the Black Borders on last time we got? Because we got one that had Black Borders, and it was all um, like their former team. Do you remember? I don't recall necessarily. Nicholas Castellanos. Fernando Romeo. Uh, Jose Ramirez for his Harper. Louis Tanny. Dang. 349. Dude, Angel's got two cool cards right there. I like those both. Shane Bieber. Out of 485. Davis. Jan Mancata. Matt Chapman. Caleb Ferguson. Christian Yelich. Junior, Ryan Smith, signatures Jake Cave. Who? Oh. Jake Cave for the I think Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins rookie autograph. Congratulations to the Twins. D A dot body. He bodied that hit. That was awful. Okay. It's a great looking auto, though. That's 100% of the shots you don't take. 
kill some smoke. Uh, Dominator. Do Dominators. Jeez, oh man. Gear Bear. 999. Out of 150, Christian Yelich. Newman, Jose Barreas, Garrett Hampson, uh, Adam Jones, Baltimore. Beltre. Hey. Los Angeles. Mr. Don't Touch My Head, oh. Beltre. Leave the jokes Going to the Dodgers. Member 2196. Congrats on the bat relic. Hey, man, if I'm not mistaken, that is an extra hit. Four hits out of JT Romuto. Box number two. Out of 500. That is box number two. Let's go, promise. I promise nothing. Are you saying we should go wireless? Is that what you're saying? I don't think they even make a wireless. GoPro. I'm not talking about GoPro. You don't like GoPro? GoPro's having some bad publicity right now. Oh, are they? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Stay away from GoPro. Fear Breakers doesn't like GoPro. <laughs> I did not know anything was going on with them. The uh, thing that happened in New Zealand. Oh, that was on there. Oh wow. The stand with New Zealand was pretty good too. By, by boycotting. Well, I mean, it's not that, it's not that company's fault at all. Well, we're going to blame it on them. We need somebody to blame this America. Oh. Good point. Usually it's video games. Take the bad rap. Wow. So I watched the first 10 seconds of the videos and it looked like Call of Duty. <laughs> That's miserable. Yeah. I got scared and turned it right off. Um, and better news, though, Joe. Purposely didn't talk about it in the first break. What? OBJ. Oh. I completely forgot that that happened since, yeah. Yeah, since our last break. Yeah. Um, for those of you that are unaware, Himes and I are diehard Clevelanders. Born and raised. We live probably 20 minutes outside. And we've survived the 0-16 season. And obviously, better days are ahead when it when it comes to, uh, you know, being a Browns fan. Rally Boy saying, pull a Luca. Which Luca is that? Luca Donche? Yeah, that's who I'm thinking I think thinking you bought of. into the wrong break, bud. He's my, my first in that reaction. But there could be a prospect or something like that named Luca. Could be wrong. But anyways, regarding the Browns, because <laughs> all of you care so much about the Browns, Odell getting traded here was awesome. There was a lot of enjoyment. Uh, cops were called because kids were out in the streets yeah. screaming. A bunch of videos being made of just people in disbelief. So we're excited. I think it's gonna. I don't want to say I jumped the gun, but I may have booked a hotel room in February. 7th, Actually, you know what? That just reminds me too. I made a a five hundred dollar bet with a close friend because yeah. <laughs> I was always taught to bet against the Browns. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Who was that with? Uh, Garrett. <laughs> That's how he's gonna pay. He for came Vegas. into well, so what? That was... <laughs> yeah. Well, it takes three years to come come to life. Well, yeah, but he's all about the long yeah. count. He's gonna get his money. But what was that? Was that a Monday that the trade went through? Tuesday? Tuesday, whatever day it was, the next day of work, 
everybody's all up in arms about the Browns, and he goes, really wild, they're going to win the World also. Super Bowl, whatever. Uh, Eugene Suarez. Matt Carpenter, followed by Leo, Lido Tarvez, Tarvez, Texas, though. Another, another, it's same not one. the same one, though. No, it's, it's not. not. It looks almost the same, so I did like a double, a double take. It looks almost exactly a second the same. rated prospect jumbo relic for the Rangers, and that is going to go to Ebeck Told. Followed by Kenston. Oh, my God. Herrera, Milwaukee. Coming in hot. For the Brew Crew, that is going to go to member 2196. Congratulations. Whit Mirfield, Dominators, Delandujar, 349. Delandujar. I read an article that said. I read an article that said that deal wasn't even close to being done Sunday like everybody thought. Interesting. Of 49, Brandon Lau. Well, Excuse me. I don't want to talk to you. But, Matt Scherzer, Paul Goldschmidt, uh, Dirksen Profar, Signatures, Jake Bowers. Oh, yep. There's a Tribe new player of the year. What? This is for Tampa Bay. But it is going to go to the Rays, which is NIC-7134. Congrats on your autograph. I am hopeful that he ends up being pretty good this year for the Indians. We have no other outfielders, so. That's false. Lacuna, Atlanta. Carlos Gonzalez is a monster. Okay, yeah, two years ago. <laughs> Otani, another Acuna on a 999. Victor Robles. Nice. Three, four, eight. How much did we pay, Carlos? It was like $2 million for eight, one year. I mean, that's cheaper than Brantley. Brantley was like $14 million. Who had a better career? So far? Tell me. I'd say Brantley. I don't know. I disagree. I think Cargo's had a better career. Fulton Stats. I will. I'll, I'll compare it. I haven't had a chance Javier to. Javier Baez. Kobe Allred. Williams. JT Romuto. JD Martins. On a 999. Cargo almost had an MVP year. Almost. Yeah, that's cool. Brantley's never been top three ever. So we're gonna say, <laughs> so we're gonna say, because there was only one good year. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just don't bring up the Cam Newton debate. Quickly referencing Adrian Beltre. Nice. Out of forty nine. Uh, Jacob Degrom. Oh, I thought this was that guy. Juan, Juan Soto. I like Soto. that. That's a nice That's card. 20 out of 25. Nice. Cool card for the Nationals. What's my next year's Super Bowl prediction right now? Patriots. Well, <laughs> Just by default. I mean, that's always the highest probability. I do have a hotel room in Miami. But, I mean, obviously. Or 477. Oh, Adrian Beltre. I mean, Adrian. if the... The Browns made it, it'd be ecstatic, but I'm Matt just... Chapman, Jacob DeGrom, I got the whole tour of Tampering expectations, because... Tampering or tempering? Tempering, tampering, however you want to say it. Uh, rich coming from the guy who can't pronounce half these guys' names. Uh, Mitch Hanniger. Eloy Jimenez. Nice. Chicago. That's who the White Sox want right there. Great prospects. Motor doll. Congrats. <laughs> Dude looks like a brick house. He's big. He's a big boy. <laughs> That looks like he's probably your starting right tackle with the number 74, too. Yeah. Paul Goldschmidt. So that's the fourth hit, too. Trevor Story out of 150. Nice. I like that card. Is that our fourth hit? Uh, I've lost count. 
Juan Soto only done three boxes, so if there's 12 hits. Oh, quick mats. Mats? Mats. That's a, that's a saying. 42 out of 40. Um, Mondesi. Robinson? No, that's Mondesi. Oh, Jackie Robinson card, though. That's yeah, but 42. it's Mondesi, not Jackie. Black Yankees lining on over there. Last man to ever win. I didn't make the product. <laughs> That's why it's not my Ryan Rivera. So I got five jumbo relics and two minis, which is seven. Nine. Nine relics and three autos. That'd be 12. 11. Nine relics and three autos is yeah. 11. Is that 12. 11 or? Quick maths. <laughs> Aren't you an engineer? No. Not on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> Philly? Um, yeah, I mean, now that you let Nick Foles go, I'm going to have to say no. <laughs> that's, that's a fair Coming statement. from fans, you know things about quarterbacks here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. Because I don't, like the big, the good teams like the Vikings, I don't think they got any better. Um, Steelers, in my opinion, Diggs, are, did Dick say he's going to sit out because he wants a new contract? Who? Diggs, I think. He's got one more year left on his deal. But I think he said he's poised to sit out. Maybe. I know. Did you see that his brother came out and sent like a picture of him in a Redskins uniform? Yeah. And did you see also Landon Collins sign with the Redskins and he's trying to lobby to wear Sean Taylor's number? So he said when he originally came out, he wanted to play for Washington. Who Landon? He's always wanted to play for Washington because. He loved Sean Taylor, and he said it would be an honor to. You're loving Chicago. I'm guessing Chicago Bears, which they I'm have a good chance. They have, Chicago team is there. I don't know. I'm just thinking Chicago Cubs and White Sox. So if it's relating to the conversation, the Bears. <laughs> little known fact. Oh, here we go. Facts only. Uh, Hashtag facts only. Mitchell Trubisky grew up right Ooh, down the street from us. Back. And I think he was on the team when we played him in the playoffs in high school. A little unknown fact. A guy who lives with him in Chicago, I actually used to work with. Okay. At Pat O'Brien. Okay. Chevrolet. There's a nice little plug-in for Pat O'Brien Chevrolet. You for can go the, ahead and buy yourself a car. For the nine people who don't live in Northeast <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> if you want to travel. Um, he's also a Marine, so obviously we need to shut him up to make sure he's just... Why do you say it so gently? I'm a gentle guy. Oh. I'm trying to say I'm brash. Why do you look at me? I'm opening this faster than you are. Do you have one thing you're opening? I've opened up over 100 packs. All right. I've already separated and got ready to ship half of the cards we broke tonight. Box number four coming at everybody. That's Good luck to you all. That's probably efficiency. Himes has, hasn't pulled a one out of one in a while. Okay. Yep, there you go. A little knock me down. A little knock me down. What was the last one I pulled? Hank Aaron, <laughs> one of one baseball bat? A little, little knock me yeah. down. Uh, Tony Romeo, Aaron Nola. Dud. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, Kikuchi. Great job. You did a great job there. Max Scherzer. Try to add a little to it. Brandon McKay. Nice. For Tampa Bay. For Tampa Bay. Rays. Getting a relic. Going to NIC7134. Followed by Adam Jones. And that's out of 99. 92 out of 99. Jacob DeGrom, George Springer, Georgie, Times his favorite. I haven't dropped that uh, 
haven't had an update in a while. I have a one out of one, George Springer, 9.5 graded by Beckett. If anyone would like to purchase it, let me know. Making Nine, serious 9 offers only. Graded. Times has turned down a very serious offer before. Jerickson Profar. Win. Oh, oh, nine, nine, nine. Aaron Judge franchise leaders. I like that. Ronald. Oh my god. I almost said Ronaldo. Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, Miles McCullis. Say it, Joe. Love that man's mustache when he has it. Is that out of 208? It's like this generation's okay. rally. Detroit, Nicholas Castellino. Oh my god. You say it right like eight out of ten times, and then you always like get it all scribble scrabbled up. Scribble scrabbled? Yeah. Uh, out of nine nine nine, Kyle Bernovich. Just a reminder, all the American Pride cards with the collegiate kids Chapman. will be randomized to everybody participating in this break at the end. Just the first break. We don't have four hits. Oh, signature series. Oh, Justice Sheffield. Nice. That is a nice card For going the from Mariners. the Indians to the Yankees and to the Mariners from the Paxton deal. Congratulations. MTG cards and comics, also known as JTEL, in the chat. I love that signature. Not numbered. I just like the cards, to be honest with you, with like the scoring. Followed by Jim Paxson, right under. Right ah, well, um, out of three forty-two. The irony. Bob Sterling Marte. He is a good rookie. Yes, he is a very good rookie. Well, I guess I should say prospect. I mean, he's going to be a rookie this year, but. Move. Key bets. That's a green border. I don't see a number on it, though. This number is on his foot. Thank you. Can't say I can Two see. Two of 25. Thank you, Himes. Uh, he was traded part of the Andrew Miller deal. Yeah, to so, the Yankees from the Indians. The Indians Yankees. never got to use him right. And then Yankees. He's, well, he's a top prospect for the Indians. Right, but he never pitched for the Indians. No. On a run throw. Then the Yankees buried him, never got the pitch for the Yankees, and then they traded him for Paxton. But he should have his shot in Seattle. Max Muncy. I mean, if you got Seattle, I would think he's one of the autographs you want to get. Seattle, yeah. Definitely him and Ichiro yes. would be the other. Matt Carpenter. Jake Bars, Jimmy Barrio. Out of 150, uh, and tra Andrew Alton, okay. Simmons, out of 150, Juan Soto. Nice, I like that card. Out of Is that 414, a or a scratch. Andre uh, Baez, Dominators. Out of 999, uh, Jake DeGrom, JT Romuto, Chris Sale. Hey, for the White Sox. He See, hates, on the White Sox. He hates those jerseys. I'm surprised. No, not those ones. It's not those He ones. didn't like the White Sox jerseys at all. Not that. It's the throw <laughs> He had a tantrum the day he was going to pitch. Going to the White Sox, that is Motor Doll. Congratulations. On your sale relic. Flip Mirfield, I'm guessing you weren't expecting to get that. But once again, I think that's four hits. Keeping but, up the trend. But who's counting anyway? I'm obviously counting. You don't have like actual props. You gotta smash it down. Hey, bud. No. Oh, 
Oh, uh, you failed to acknowledge to the extent that I wanted you to. Okay. That I think it was a tweet I forwarded to you regarding the 2019 Tops opening day card that has an alien in the background. Oh. Tell me you saw that. An alien. If you guys have listened to us for a while, me and George, big space guys. Yeah. Big space guys. So, there's an odd picture. It's because he wears sunglasses. And what is it, a Mookie Betts card? I think it's the Mookie Betts card in 2019 opening day, and it's got an alien in the audience. Like, no joke. It is legitimately it looks like an alien. It's because the person has sunglasses on. And when they blur out the background, it just makes it look like it's his eye sockets. Now, I don't want to be the one to tell you that we're all doomed, but there could be aliens watching baseball games. If you think that we're the only ones in the universe, just leave the chat, because me and you know, we're no, all stay in the chat because I want to prove you wrong. We're all about the alien world. Um, with that being said, that's not really all. Well. We're halfway done. I think we got a good pace coming. Yeah, we're we're approaching the uh, halfway mark, or we just Pass. surpassed it. Um, another thing I'd like to see us pull from that okay, pick, not that we're going to, I'm just anything. saying that I like right. the cards. Like Printing plates. I love that Panini does that. Do they have them in here? They do. And printing plates are always one out of ones, except they're for different colors. What did we pull? From? We pulled one printing plate before. I remember the D.D. Westbrook one. The autograph. Yeah, it was an autograph printing plate. D. Westbrook from like 2017 or 18, whatever the year was. Circuit Breakers is getting added to some weird Instagram group. Okay. Carry on. I don't really want to get on that before people start getting Ray Ban ads. Almost uh, there. Great job, Eric. No. Okay. Josh James. Out of 42. To the Cards of Mariano Rivera. Carlos Correa. Franchise Futures. Uh, 999. Andre Baez. Victor Robles out of 150. Jerez, Molina, Bob Mike Carpenter, and we'll stop naming those off because we've gone over them all. Justice, Justin Verlander. Oh, is, is that on the Tigers? or Detroit. Wow. There he is. Detroit. The old timer on his former team going to Motor Doll with the Detroit Tigers. Here to out of 167, Kyle Wright for Atlanta. Francisco Lindor. Uh, uh, 
349. Out of 25, Carlos Correa. Pink. Four breast cancer awareness. Sterling Marte. It's out of 458. The 999 Blake Snell Dominators. Do you think it costs more for them to make the refractors? I would assume. Blue Juan Soto. It's about 249. Got a green one so earlier. Trying to get, catch the rainbow. Out of 59, uh, Ardius Viscaniano. Viscaniano. That joke is good. Great job. You're doing a great job. Thank you. On a run pro. Every once in a while, I got to reinforce you. Yep. Just want to see a Vladimir. Guerrero Jr. Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! If you bought the Toronto Blue Jays, this is what you bought the Blue Jays. I, as for. soon as you flipped it over, last break, last week, we got, the we got that same exact oh, card, gosh. but it didn't have the autograph on it. And lo and behold, there is the autograph in this one. Congratulations to the Blue Jays. Christy Jordan, 117. You got yourself what the everybody is chasing want. right there. Wow. That is sweet. Does not look to be numbered. Doesn't matter. Maybe this is why we didn't get four hits in this box. Yeah. Wow. That's the card you wanted, though. That's the card everybody wants. It's got a, like a little wrinkle card. in the relic. Yep. Super cool. Wow. Might not be a one on one, but uh Wow. I don't even know how to follow up on that one, Heinz. Uh Albert Pools. Whoever had Blue Jays last week is probably upset. <laughs> Dustin May, and there's the fourth relic, if I'm not mistaken. Who's that for? Um, L.A. Uh, Dodgers. Going to the Dodgers. That is member 2196. Sick, that Vlad card. <laughs> Here he is again. Dude, is he? Come on. Domingo Alea. Would they have him autographed, like, 100,000 cards? Domingo. So anyways. Uh, That's the guy we were talking about earlier. That is going to be randomized at the end of this break for everybody that is participating. You'll get the collegiate cards, which ironically, there we go, on a, there we go on a 999. You'll get the collegiate cards and the Domingo. Wow. That's what a cool. box number five. Full of hits there. We get what four or five hits in that one know. box? I... And we got the flat out of that box? <laughs> like blacked out. Jeez. Well, that's the card everybody wants. Wow. Told me to pull fire. Needless to say, we got a brand new case of this product for yeah. the next two weeks. So those of you that are chasing that. We have more opportunities to come. Listen, I'm not going to tell anybody what to do with the cards, but you might want to get that one graded. Yeah. And you might want to hold on to that one. Because he looks pretty damn good. Can we give him the Beard of Breakers stamp of approval? <laughs> if we had a stamp of approval, he would get it. I think we put it on the package. 
he I saw him Vlad it was actually his birthday, I think, Vlad Jr. like two days ago. And his dad tweeted a picture of him and uh, his son Explosion. Yeah, running they were like running the bases or something and his son was just he was a chubby little kid too, he was just holding up his helmet. It's a cool picture, I saved it actually. Play a lot. Call me a Vlad, Vlad Jr. fan. I don't know. I liked his dad. Loved his dad. His dad's swing was like. Does he wear batting gloves like his dad? Or, or did it? Like, does he wear batting gloves? I don't know. Man. I don't watch my early games, to be honest with you. Well, I know his, his dad never did. That was always the thing about his dad. He said he wanted to be able to feel the bat. Oh, I do remember that, though. He always walk up, put his hands in the dirt. Then you remember, like, Nomar Garcia Parra would, like, readjust his batting gloves, like... As a kid, who didn't do that? Oh, my gosh. Like, I remember I did it in Little League one time just to annoy my coach. I remember I remember doing an exact, like, impersonation of uh, Jim Tony at the plate, and everyone was like, oh, what was he doing? <laughs> <laughs> so one time I got up to the plate. And I was just bragging that I was about to hit a home run. And I remember I did the Babe Ruth, called my shot. This was in the... Maybe league. this is why we don't get asked to play softball anymore. The Little League Championship a liability. game. liability. <laughs> we're in the Little League like, Championship game for the city. And I point my shot. The ball didn't go past the pitcher. Dribbled it, right? Unbelievable. We, that probably is, we are probably liabilities. I do want to play in a softball league, though. I do, too. Do we just have to make our own team, then, I guess? I tried one time, and they, like, project it months in advance. Like, not even, like, years. Like, it's hard to start it, because the teams are already, like, established. And they never run out. You don't talk about like rookie cards to get. I mean, we've got I think two pretty damn good ones with Sheffield and Vlad. Matt Olson, Oakland. Nice. Going to the Athletics. One of Joe's favorites. That is going to Jack Bidding. Congratulations on the relic. Followed by Austin Hayes of Baltimore. Beautiful looking card for the Orioles. American Pride, Graham Stinson, number 999. Christian Yelich, Diamond Kings. Uh, uh, five Hunter, Matt Chapman. I'm still in awe. I would agree with you, Himes. Reese McGuire. A nice red Albert Albert Pujols, one forty nine. Out of one forty nine, Jose Ramirez. Ozzy Albies. Oh wow, one out of fourteen. Woohoo! It's his nickname on there, Pucci. I'm a hurry, you know. <laughs> Is that seriously how much that's yeah. going for? Yeah. How much is it? Let's buy it now. Yeah. Can you make an offer? <laughs> I'm just gonna reinvest. Nine nine nine. <laughs> uh, Royal Boy one eight seven is asking on Twitch not to interrupt you, Himes. Do we get only hits or all the cards for our team? Oh, hashtag this. <laughs> no, this does have a hashtag. All card ship. <laughs> um, one fifty Cody Bollinger. We pride ourselves on sorting and shipping 
as efficiently as possible. And yes, you will receive all the t cards for the teams that you bid on and won. As we've already said a few times here today on this break, the, the cards from our first break are already sorted, already in bags, ready to be shipped. Do this. This has these cards are really cool. It's out of 14, too. I know, but you know why it's out of 14? Because it's his nickname? No. His nick? Oh. Poochie. Well, Poochie. Yeah, they have short prints like that throughout, but uh, he had 14 stolen bases in 2018. That's why they made it out of 14. <laughs> That's, That's cool. pretty cool. Cool card for the Braves. Just reading up on it. Yon Mercado. Justin Smoke. Ryan O'Hearn, Kansas City. Nice. There's another good rookie. Man. Going to the Royals. Redo AK Sales. Congratulations on your autograph. I wonder how much of like numbered black cards are stuff. The black one? There was, there's one that's an auction out of 99, same card that's like that one here. Oh, wow. For it. It was at like $10. It's got four days left. So. Oh. <laughs> Let me just say this. Coming from a big J Bo Jackson guy, Trevor's I don't see you putting any serious offers in on anything. Mookie bets out of 50 or 9.99. 50 of 999. Isn't that his number 50? No. Jersey number? Yeah. What number is Mookie Betts? I don't know. You're a big Mookie Betts guy, best player in the world. I'm pretty sure he's number 50. People aren't going to like it if we just stop right now and look up his number. I'll look it up right now for you. Four, number four, 50. Two. So, so jersey three. number. Jersey number card. Yeah, you're welcome. Times calls him the MVP but doesn't know even who what number Who had to find out was. who the Senators were? Dude. Unrelated. Ronald Acuna. Nice. That, if I'm not mistaken, is our fourth hit of this box. Panini might as well just advertise it as four hits per box. Yeah, at this point. Maybe this was his case. Braves going to member 2196. Andrew Benatendi. One of my favorites. Out of 42. 18 out of 42. Thank you, Himes. You're welcome. Okay, last two boxes out of the eight total in this half case break. Like I said, we got a full case in stock that we are planning to be breaking of this product for the next two weeks. So pay attention to when the listings go up, which probably will be on Tuesday. But, uh,. Obviously, this product has a lot of hits, a lot of excitement, and we are always excited to go through it. Honestly, we're pulling the hits to have. Although, again, just going to knock you a little bit. The 101s would be nice. Where's that at? Where's the fire? I feel like the Vlad Jr. Card. Where's the, where's the fire? The Vlad Jr. card's good. Where's the, uh, the, the Fat Finger Magic? The Vlad Jr. card's good. <laughs> All of a sudden, Himes likes Vlad Jr. more than Bo Jackson. No. Oh, yeah. Definitely. No, 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 definitely. No. You can make a serious no, case. Oh, no, 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 no. Serious no, case no, no, no. to make that point. There's nothing better than Bo Jackson, but on these airwaves, we've already fought as much as we could fight about Bo Jackson. I'm just saying if Balky was here right now, he would be saying Bo this, Bo that, Bo that. Bo's the greatest athlete Bo of all everything. time. Bo and then Jackson you'd be echoing. The greatest be, athlete of all time. <laughs> you'd be echoing everything he says about Trying to debate me on Bo. it, I will laugh and mock you. And then all of a sudden. Bo Jackson is by far the greatest athlete to ever play professional sports in the history of professional sports. I completely disagree. That's. Oh! 
<laughs> completely disagree. Who? Who? The though? only reason or validation that you no, no, have to say no, anything like not that. at all. Because you played two sports. Yes. That's part of it, but no. Look at how good he was. You know how many other people have played two professional sports? A lot, but that's not the only you reason. You could make a but case that Tony was, Romo is the most He was athletic at doing athlete it than anybody. Tony Romo. I mean, Stop it. he could be Stop it. Stop. following Stop. the same Stop. format that you're judging Bo Jackson. You're embarrassing on. yourself. <laughs> this is embarrassing right now, Joe. Don't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a short print Bo Jackson that I just like pulling out for Himes every once in a while that he does he's, not own. He's just peeking around the corner. And he is peeping. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that card and up. come in here and just <laughs> set it down. Next week. You're gonna get a Vlad card before you get a Bo Jackson card. I'm gonna go buy that Mike Trout baseball <laughs> that you're going to. And I'm just gonna sit it. If you week. get the Trout one, I'm gonna get the Bo Jackson one, and we're both gonna stare at these autographs. I'm like, like, do you know, I don't think you watch a lot of wrestling, but, like, Sting, the one wrestler. One of my favorite wrestlers. Would always come from the Raptors. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for, like, Valkyrie to come out of nowhere. <laughs> like, like, Sting, like, Bo Jackson. For those of you that haven't participated in recent breaks in the last two weeks, we, we've uh, acquired a viewer named Valkyrie that is uh, very refreshing. And, and He likes to rile us up. Yeah, he likes to... Uh, I don't know. What do you want Put to call us it? against each other? Yeah. Something along those lines. Mostly he sides with me most of the time. <laughs> Probably just because he doesn't want to get your voice raised and your blood pressure going and we have bigger problems on our hands. <laughs> I'm not going to do mouth to mouth. I'll say that right now. <laughs> just let me die. Just, gonna... just show me Bo. He'll bring me back. <laughs> yeah. Just. Said whisper, can do sweet, it all. <laughs> whisper, <laughs> whisper sweet bow nothings in your ear. Jake Agnos out of 99. Walker Bueller out of 262. Bueller. I always want to say Bueller. Say no. <laughs> Aaron Mola. Should go back to my other hot take that pisses people off. What? Ozzy Albies. There he is. Is that the second round? Look at his. Uh, yeah, we just got one. Oh, no, it was a clean up. Second for the Braves. Sandlot's not that good. Oh, uh, we already talked about this. Yeah, we're, we're lost. It's just not good. They're going to create a TV series on that. Christian on Yelich on a 368. Um, it's just not good. It's trash. One of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. JT Lemuto. Uh, Marcel Ozuna. Franchise features. Out of 49, Victor Robles. Robel. Dud. Jacob Degrom. Mars Marso. It's Marco. Marco Lucini. I like that orange. San Francisco. That is thirteen out of ninety nine. Nice. Going to the Giants. Going to Mod Price. Congratulations on a nice jumbo relic. Oh, this is an interesting one. Whammo, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Dude, that is legitimately the two cards that you want getting yeah. black cards. The whammies are ridiculous. Probably one of my favorite looking cards in the entire case. How much were you going for the other day? The whammies are cool. Super cool card. Blue Jays killing it. Autograph, then a whammy. You might as well just pour yourself a green... Beverage and yeah, just those are the cards you wanted. You did good kick tonight. back and enjoy the rest of your evening. Don't be surprised if Toronto doesn't get shit. <laughs> we'll make sure we put insurance on it. 
gosh. Uh, on a 9.99 American Pride. Miles Nicholas. Auto 99. Rookie. Who gee that's twenty-five out of two forty-nine? Uh Eddie Rosario out of one ninety-four. Jose Altuve out of three sixteen. Ooh, stone cold. Have we gotten an auto in this break? I do not believe so. Maybe they're saving some epic, crazy card for us. A Vlad Whammy. <laughs> yeah, this is something uh, out of the world. Blackman, uh, 999. Edwin Incarcio, 150. Aaron Judge. <laughs> Dude, what is going on right now? That is 5 of 20. Wow. Diamond Kings. Our favorite product, Diamond Kings, which is releasing later in April. 5 of 20. Aaron freaking Judge. Imagine if you just bought this case for yourself. I'm Aaron Judge, Vlad Guerrero, <laughs> the Whammy Vlad, some Dominga Ayala guy who could be just Tinder fired. I'm, I'm flabbergasted. This is one of the uh, buybacks. On card. on card, yeah, buyback in the back corner. There's a stamp on the card. Right there? Yeah. Wow. Got me all riled up. That's cool. Aaron Judge held that card and autographed it. Going to the Yankees. 20. <laughs> Nonetheless, who's that going to? It's going to uh, member 2196. Congratulations. Worth the wait, I would say. Call, judge me all you want, but I always do smell that. You never know. Judge me. You never know. <laughs> you might well, smell like you went right to it. rich mahogany or uh, <laughs> rich mahogany. one of those. Uh, nice oak. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Aaron Judge. Dude. No one wants, but I'll tell you damn what. These it are... could be coming in this box. I, I wouldn't put it past this break right now. What, an Otani one-on-one coming? Yeah. That's like the the grail that we haven't pulled yet is an Otani auto. It really is. Yeah, it's weird. That's the first judge we pulled. No, it's not. It's the second. Auto? We, yeah, we pulled a judge. Uh, what was that? Uh, Chronicles. 2017 Chronicles? Oh, or 18? Yeah, we did 18. So what's what is gonna fight to be the front of the video card this week? The judge out of twenty or the Vlad? I don't know. Might have to be both. That's I don't know. It's a toss up. Some nights, you know, we're fighting about. Honestly, which. I like I. I mean, obviously the the autos are great and dandy, but the whammy card is cooler than hell. That is like a sweet. You can do all three. The first, the first three card cover. Oh yeah, now Joe's all frustrated. Doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh. I don't think we... Oh yeah, we have... Yeah. Much, uh, look up that judge card out of 20. Seriously. Oh, you want me to be your... Uh, Personal eBay guy. Yeah. So a 2019 Don Russ buyback out of 15 is going for $350. So, and his autograph is usually over 100. So somewhere in that ballpark between 100 and 300. So I'd say 200, 300. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice bring in. <laughs> 
Aaron Judge, and he's killing it. He's raking this preseason. Spring training is really the technical thing. Let's see what the the Vlad Whammy is. I thought you said you were gonna buy the Vlad Whammy. So I know you sent it to me. About a solid super short print Vlad Whammy. Let's see if it's sold any recently. Sixty bucks. It's probably one of the very few non-autographed cards I want. It's like those um, downtown cards, if you remember what I'm thinking of. They kind of have like a cartoon background. The one that comes to mind is LeBron's downtown card, and it has like the guitars and everything in the background. That's a very expensive card for not being an autograph. But everybody values everything differently. Box number eight. This is the last box of the break. And we have a... Do you think like this was a base card and they just had this on it? Yeah. And then they stamp it a little yeah. bit. That's true. Um, after box number eight is done, we do have a random autograph to go through. And, all and the random. tagged along with that will be all the Stars and Stripes cards for the Collegiate players. So everybody that's in this break will have a chance at that. Matt Chapman, Oakland. Another Matt Chapman. Or who was the other one? Matt Chapman, yeah. obviously. Oakland. Going to Jack Bidding. Another relic. J.A. Happ. Toronto. Who has... Sorry, Hans. I was no, no, hey. putting things away. Uh, Toronto, as if you needed another hit. <laughs> Christy Jordan, 117. Mike Trout out of 99 franchise features. Out of 310, Scooter Jeanette. Scoot, scoot, scoot. This is, <laughs> this is a terrible pun for me, please. Tanner Burns out of 999. Josh James out of 235. Jason Bowser. Box one C signature. Rowdy Tellez. Oh, wow. I saw Blue Jays and got all excited again. <laughs> Dude. But again, the Blue Jays getting another hit. Sweet. Autograph. I do like that auto. Rowdy Tellez. Going to Christy Jordan 117. Congratulations. Blue Jays are on I'm fire. A, having a pretty nice hit here. Right, let's uh, break here. Out of 999, Juan Soto. Alex Brigman. Out of uh, 500. Dominators, Mike Trout. Out of. 349. Out of 49. Jeff McNeil. Oh, Tanny. Out of 999. And your last stack. Let's see if we got another hit in here for you guys. Uh, 
Chris Bryant out of 500. 500 or 500. I like that. That's a cool name. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. Brandon Nemo. Nolan Arenado. There you go for the Rockies. Going to MJ Blanchard. Mark Perry officially died. Perfect timing. Aaron Judge. That's a cool card. Times his favorite refractors on the back. Out of 99. I do. Like, I don't how do know you, How do you inventory that? Do you put it forwards or backwards? I don't know. <laughs> I like it now. And that is it. Wow. Wow. Let's just say there's a crap ton of hits. I am blown away. So let's do a review of the hits, and then we will do the random. We'll that a, includes everybody. We'll do a review of the major hits. Look at the relics first, and then get those three for last. So there are all the relics in their cases. Justin Verlander. Uh, Chris Sale. Adrian Beltre. Ian Desmond. Ton of hits here. Uh, Marco Lucini, Dustin May, Brandon McKay, Eloy Jimenez, Kenston Herrera, Leo Tarvez, Julio Martinez, Taylor Tremel. Aaron Nola. Nolan huh. Arenado, I mean. Matt Olson. Matt Chapman. What am I doing? Oh my god. You Matt want me to Chapman, do this? Ozzy Alves. Ronaldo. Oh Ronaldo my god. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Let me just say him. Austin for you. Hayes. Matt Olson. Are you sure it's not like <laughs> Alex Bergman, Matt Chapman? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nicholas Castellanos. Do you mean Gary Sheffield? I'm <laughs> just saying. Okay. I like that one more. Okay. Pucci? Uh, out of 14. Ozzy. Carlos Correa? Out of 25. Juan Soto? Out of 25. Mookie Betts? Out of. 25. Rowdy Talese. Ryan O'Hearn. Justice Sheffield. Javier Baez. Jake Bauer. Or no, this is Jake Cave. <laughs> Wouldn't be a, a hit review without Himes just. Louise? Completely making it up. Oh, no, I thought, didn't we get? I thought we had a Jake Bauer hit. Didn't we get a Jake Bauer's autograph? Yeah. Have you said it yet? He's in your no. hand. They're stuck together. Okay. Jake Bauer's. Sounds like an excuse. Please. Uris. No whammy. Big money. No whammies. Card. And then pick which one's your favorite because you really could go either way. They're both fun. Aaron Judge, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Isn't he the top prospect in baseball? Definitely, without a doubt. And Aaron Judge. I mean, yep. Out of 20. Those are all right hits. And last but not least, as we've been mentioning all along during the break, we have the Infamous <laughs> autograph that is not related to any particular sports team. So how we're going to go about this, and including all of the Stars and Stripes cards that have collegiate players, we are going to randomize amongst everybody, or amongst all 30 teams in this break, and basically follow the same, same format on any other random. We're going to 
randomized three times. After the third time, the number on the top will correlate to the number in alphabetical city order, and that will be the winner of this autograph and all of the other collegiate stars. So let's bring everybody over. Give me one quick second. One. There it is, one. Give me two, maybe. There you are. One. Boom. <laughs> So we are on random.org, and we have numbers 1 through 30, representing every single team in the MLB. And like I said, we're going to hit random three times, and after the third time, team at the top in alphabetical city order will be the lucky winner. Good luck to everybody, and let's do it. So there's one. There is two. If I were to take a random guess on who it's going to be, it's probably going to be Blue Jays, but that's just me. Good luck to everybody, though. Randomize number three. Number six is the winner, and that is the Chicago White Sox. You are the winner of the Domingo autograph and the remainder of all of the collegiate cards. Thank you, everybody. Himes, would you please close us out once I get us back? Everybody, thank you, you for joining us. This was, I think, uh, one of our best breaks we've had in a while. It's fun with the autographs. It was very fun. Hope to see you guys next week when we we will have 2019 Heritage Baseball, 2019 Panini Baseball Don Rust. That's a new case we're going to be opening. Um, also, we will probably be doing a half case of is it Tops or Panini? It's Tops Inception. Tops Inception. That was a great, huge product for us last year. We hope that it's just as big this year. It's fun. It's I a mean, sweet that's, that's why it's, it's a good nice product. It's nice, quick, with some nice hits in there. Um, I know last year they had ones, black cards with gold pen, black cards with silver pen. The combinations are endless. Um, so we hope to see you guys. Those will go up Tuesday, so make sure you guys tune in with that. Make sure you're on Twitch. You click on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter panels. And I like and subscribe. We might be doing a little bit of, if you're on there, we might do a little bit of promotion for you guys so we know you're on there. Um, Joe, anything you have to say? That's it. No, just appreciate everybody. See you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you.